According to the FBI, there are more than two million burglaries every year, and most of them are happening in homes. Many times the crooks are walking right through the front door. Our early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with more on that. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Here's what you need to know about break-ins. Most happen during the day. The front door is the number one point of entry for thieves, and unfortunately, most of us don't do a good job of securing our homes. It can happen any day, any time. A thief is casing your house, looking for an easy way to break in. Nine times out of 10, it's easy to walk in and it's unlocked, I'm telling you, from experience. I'd go in here. Walter Shaw is a former burglar. Over the course of several decades, he's broken into hundreds of homes and stolen millions of dollars in goods. He's even written a book about it. Getting into homes, he says, was always a piece of cake. Doesn't matter. I don't care if they're $200,000 houses or $50 million houses. They all have weak spots, all of them. They all have holes in the system. A major weak spot, the front door. The problem, homeowners often leave them unlocked or the locks they do have just aren't enough to keep a crook out. What's kind of common is I'll walk up, of course, knock and see if you're home. Once you're not home, it's just a matter of standing back and boom, and they kick the front door in and, and then they're in your home. And they can do that very quickly. Larry Karch is with State Farm Insurance Company. We went to the company's research lab outside Chicago to see just how easy it is to break in a door and what homeowners can do about it. First of all, this is probably one of the most common uh, areas when a door is kicked in, it's going to break at the strike plate. And there's a reason for that. You'll notice that the, this wood isn't very thick and they use very short screws at this area. There's not very much holding that door in one place. Karch recommends replacing those short screws with longer three inch screws, an inexpensive fix. If you use a longer three inch screw, that three inch screw attached to the structure of the building. Now you have to kick in the building practically to break into the door. And having the right kind of lock is key. Not all deadbolts are made the same. And using just the lock on your doorknob isn't enough to keep someone out. Two more inches. This device simulates the weight of a crook using his body to okay. bust through a locked door. It's easy to get in. Even using a crowbar and slight pressure Pushing it like that. We were able to pop open a locked door. Do you think most people would think that they were secure with what they had? Unfortunately, you're right. Most people do feel like they're secure with this. And some people don't even have the deadbolt. They just have the latch bolt or the doorknob type of, type of lock. So they really aren't as safe as they feel they are. Karch says all doors should have grade one deadbolts. And for added protection, reinforce your doors with metal plates that attach near the locks and along the door jam. Watch what happens now with this device on our reinforced door. With top-notch locks, the door doesn't budge. You would check to see if the door is open here. Walter Shaw says homeowners need to think about guys like him and do a better job of protecting their homes. When they buy a house or they're setting up a house, they don't think about being burglarized. They always think it's going to be the next door neighbor or somebody down the street. That can happen to me. And that's when it does happen to you. And moral of the story, you need locks. Lots of them, and good ones, Harry. I've had my home broken into back in the day, and it really was just a crowbar. There was no serious lockage on the on the front door. I think they popped in there in two seconds. Yeah. There's nothing to it. It can happen in less than 10 seconds. I, being this pregnant, was able to use a crowbar and pop a door open. Pop a door yeah. open. Okay, we have some equipment over here. Take a look at this. You really need to have this to secure your front right. door. So you need a deadbolt. Even if you have a deadbolt on mm. your door, right. make sure it's the right kind. Right. You need a grade one deadbolt. Right. It's stronger. It's more expensive. It's mm. about $150. Okay. But this is really going to help prevent somebody from using a crowbar sure. or kicking in the door. Right. This is really, so spend the money. Spend the money. Throughout. A little pain, pain prevention. How's that equation go? Right. Oh, God. Penny wise, pound foolish. There you go. Somebody. And, you know, when you're at the store, make sure you look on the box and it says grade one. Grade one. All right. Now, what is this here? So this is something called door jam armor. Uh -huh. You should have a deadbolt on here as okay. well. I want to point that out. Sure. 
So anyway, this goes around the lock here. Mm -hmm. You also have it in the door jam. So there's a metal piece so that this, is... This really prevents somebody from kicking in the door and mm -hmm. splitting the door or being right. able to pry the door open. That yeah. metal reinforces the locks mm -hmm. on your door. Because you'd be uh -huh. surprised that if it's if it's not metal or what's around the door, if it's a wooden jam, I mean, they, they can, can pop through there with no problem. bust it right no open. $120 for that. You can install it yourself. There you go. Very good. I'm feeling so much more secure. <laughs> Susan Copen, thanks.